Thank you. Our mission at Bizarre Voice is to generate customer word of mouth from your customers and then take that content and inject that in every digital touch point that your business engages in, um, whether that's Facebook, whether that's online, whether it's mobile uh, banking. Now, we power uh, basically customer conversations and dynamic injection of that across 500, uh, to all nearly 1,000 of the world's largest brands, including financial institutions. I'd like to show you how it looks. So let's pick up the story here as John is looking at a website on financial information. He's a saver. He wants to find new and interesting ways to save money. And it just so happens that he just got his tax return. And he's got that thing burning a hole in his pocket. So he wants to find high yield savings account to dump that into right away. It so happens that he's being targeted as part of the savings uh, saver segment with an ad there on the right. And the first, part of, uh, the first place you'll see Bizarre Voice come into play is that there's user-generated content right there in the ad being injected by our platform. We know that consumers prefer each other's opinions over that of brands. This is a compelling offer, not only because Ryan, who lives near him, has reviewed this highly, but also because it's a great rate. John's compelled, so he clicks on the ad. He goes to the landing page for this particular campaign and sees great information about the product, but more importantly, he sees information from real consumers and real holders of the savings account. As he looks through and reads that information and that opinion, he starts to see himself in that verbiage. He can see how other consumers and other uh, sh uh, account holders are enjoying the benefits of this. He's compelled to act, so he goes ahead and opens an account by applying. Now, he funds his account, and three weeks later, receives an email from, uh, powered by Bizarre Voice asking him to write a review of his experience. He clicks the review link and immediately is taken to a review page. This is a critical moment for the FI to engage this customer during their onboarding process. Not only can he review his experience with the, with the bank in this case and the product itself, this is also the moment in time where marketing has an opportunity to learn a little bit more about John. What motivates him? What are his biases? What is, what is his persona? That's going to feed downstream the opportunity to cross-sell and upsell new services down the line. John submits his review, and now that content will be posted shortly to the website, Facebook, and into any mobile application that John might be interacting with, but not yet. Not until it passes a, a rigorous moderation process that involves both technology and human moderation. Bizarre Voice takes, this, takes the, the safety and security of content on your site very seriously. Uh, we'll ensure that we moderate that content according to your brand guidelines, but importantly, also apply rigor around ensuring that content is compliant with industry regulations to keep the consumer and your FI safe. So where does all this content go? It goes into the Bizarre Voice platform. And Lisa, as a marketing, man marketing manager for the bank, logs into Bizarre Voice Intelligence to start exploring trends behind this content. Immediately, she looks at um, how her product, the savings product, is performing uh, over time. And recently, she can see some of the key sentiment that's being express expressed around this product. She can also see what people recently are uh, express around this product in terms of highlights and lowlights. This is giving her an opportunity to, to sort of feel and sense opportunity around marketing this product. So diving in more specifically, she can read the actual text and reviews from consumers. As she does that, she starts to identify perhaps even more opportunity. But importantly, she can now segment all of this feedback by the bank's uh, segmentation hierarchy. So basically, if she goes in and segments, um, clicking on a particular tab there, she segments down now and she scrolls down to the savings account product that she's responsible for. And she can see how this, this uh, account is performing with respect to different segments. So she, what she's going to do is click on the segment that, provide, that is the most uh, highly um, uh, energized by that product, who are brand advocates. And when she clicks there, she sees that there are over 6,000 advocates for this particular product. This is your marketing and sales team of the future. These are people that are expressing positive word of mouth every day about your products and about your services, and in this case, micro-targeted to, micro, micro to the savings account product in particular. So you'll, we'll notice that also John follows in this camp. Lisa can easily click on John's profile here and get a sense of how much of an advocate is John. In fact, he's a new customer, but he's already answered over 90 questions from existing and pr prospective uh, uh, account holders already. This is the type of marketing and sales force that you need work working on your behalf. So from this, Lisa can also import CRM and marketing segmentation data directly into the tool to cross-tab that. What she does then is then build campaigns to look for additional opportunity to cross-sell and upsell not only John, but the 6,000 other advocates uh, that you saw there. Not bad for 20 minutes worth of work first thing in the morning. 
So that's the first thing that Lisa's done. The second thing Lisa's gonna do is she's gonna look for an opportunity to reach out to existing customers to build loyalty. She knows that last week there was a problem on the, on the bank's website where pending transactions were not being properly displayed. People were talking about that. So using Bizarre Voice Intelligence, she's gonna go in and search for all mentions of pending transactions that occurred through any of the digital channels that the bank works with. She finds a, a collection of folks who have had that issue and then immediately can start to see, get a sense of, did people see an opportunity behind this? Was it really an issue, et cetera? So she's going, to, uh, she's going to click one of these particular reviews and go in and respond to that person. It turns out that this was John. And right here within the tool, she's able to write a response. This is important because when she writes this response and hits publish, it goes back to the bank's website, again, once it's been moderated, and it demonstrates to the bank's customers that the bank is listening and responding. Not only that, John receives a personal email as a follow-up, prompting John to click the link and come back to the site for repeat visits. Very important for upsell, cross-sell. Now, Beyond the website, all of this content is being injected into mobile and tablet computing devices as well. John, again, as a bank advocate, launched the, launches the uh, bank's app, logs in to check his account balance. And his account balance has been growing. He's a wonderful saver. And the bank sees that. In fact, he's up to over $25,000 in savings over a short period of time. He's targeted with an ad, again, with dynamically injected user-generated content right there to, to prompt him. Uh, to basically open an account uh, for a CD. John's not sure if he wants that, so he tabs over to the, uh, to the, the community, again, that's dynamically injected content, that's Q&A, discussion, et cetera. John sees that there's a debate around CD versus IRA. He goes here, checks that out, feels comfortable about, uh, with, the, with the decision to go to CD, jumps back and opens that account by clicking on that link. Now, we've seen how the content drives conversion, we've seen how it drives loyalty and upsell and cross-sell, and we've seen how it can drive insights into business that change the way you market, and how you service and potentially how you build products. The last thing I want to show you is how hard this content's working for you. In fact, it's the hardest working content in the business because it's available 24 by seven in Google. As other people are searching for savings products, the companies that have this type of user-generated content that's fresh and relevant pop to the top and, and drive uh, additional traffic. Thank you.